Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to hopefully resolve issues with Google Chrome not being able to successfully open up on Windows. So anyway, we are going to start by heading over to the Start menu and we're going to type in Chrome. The best option should say Google Chrome. So you want to right click on it and then left click on Open File Location. So now you should see the shortcut for Google Chrome right here. So you want to right click on it and then left click on properties. There should be a start in folder here. And then you want to left click on open file location. So I'm going to minimize out of the other windows. You can close out of them personally if you want. Now we see there should be a folder that looks like a lot of decimal places after it. Um, this sh should be the current product version of Google Chrome you're using. In some cases there might be multiple folders that look like this. So you want to replicate this result for any folder that might look like this. So you want to double click on it. And then you want to scroll down until you get to chrome.dll. Should be pretty close to the top here. What you want to do is left click on it and then either right click on it with your mouse or hit the delete key on your keyboard. You want to basically delete this DLL file. So as we'll take a moment. So be patient. And then once that's done, you can close out of this folder. And then once you're done doing that, you also want to head back to the start menu. You want to type in CMD. And then it should say command prompt. You want to right click on it and then left click run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, select yes. So at this point you want to enter N-E-T-S-H space win sock another space reset and then hit enter on your keyboard. This should reset your internet connection. And then it will ask you to restart your computer. So once you're in restarting your computer, try opening up Google Chrome again and hopefully this issue should be resolved for you guys. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.